Hey guys, G5 Cosmos here once again. Very excited today to unveil the G5 official mod pack that is going to be available for download for all of you guys and it's going to be used at our G5 tournaments and you guys can all use it yourself. Uh, it's been something that I've been talking about for a while and really excited to bring to you. Before I go any further, I want to give a huge, massive shout out to Mugen, who is the modder that we have worked with to create this pack. He put all this stuff together, he worked hard with us to get it just the way we wanted, and it's really impressive. Um, I'm going to have his Twitter mentioned in the description, and he's also going to be coming out with a new mod pack of his own uh, that has some really cool physics changes and some kind of stuff like a different direction for the game that he's trying to, to make for a fun little pack. So that'll be coming soon, and you'll be able to check out a, a demo of it here. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So, the first thing that we're going to notice is the character selection screen. Themed with the Game 5 logo and the Game 5 backdrop. It looks really nice. You can see our Twitch link right on there. I think even uh, just in general, it looks like a great background for the, for the character screen. So, going from here, Mario. let's go into the stage selection screen, and we will see that it also has the G5 themed backdrop which looks really nice you can see it on all of the pages looks really clean and all the smoke effect is still there I think it just really looks nice in general and getting to more of the content in here we have some stage textures that, to clarify this pack completely absolutely no physics changes this pack is completely tournament ready we're gonna be using it at our G5 tournaments we're gonna be using it at popping off even as soon as tomorrow and you can actually check that out on twitch.tv slash game5smash if you would like to watch it. So the first thing that's new about this is something that we're actually going to be trying out for the first time at the tournament tomorrow. And we have, it in the Omega uh, slot for Pokemon Stadium 2, we have the complete hazardless version of Pokemon Stadium 2. So it's the exact Pokemon Stadium 2 that you're familiar with, but no hazards. Nothing's going to change about it. It's just a completely viable tournament stage. I'm not going to fight this mark. I'm just going to jump around uh, and show it to you. And I'm not going to stay here. Normally the stage transitions after a minute, but it won't transition because, you know, it's modded. So that's that. So that looks really nice. And it's really a completely viable stage just by simply removing those transitions. So I really like this. And we are making it a legal starter stage at our tournament tomorrow. And, you know, I don't know if this will ever necessarily catch on because mods are still kind of new and I don't know if tournaments would want to do that in every application but we're certainly doing it and you can check that out as I said and the, vi the videos from the tournament will be uploaded here as well so moving on the next thing we have is hazardless Midgar so Midgar is actually the blast zones from my my testing are either identical to or very similar to battlefields however the platforms are actually slightly higher uh, I'm not 100% sure but I believe the platforms are around the height uh, of dreamland platforms so the stage works almost identically to battlefield but there are these subtle differences so that is worth noting um, but it's a really fun stage to play on and I'm sure you know who among us didn't look at the beautiful stage of Midgar and wonder oh did I not choose the Omega version I don't think I did But that's a, just a reminder that you do have to choose the Omega version to get the slot that has the hazards for all of these stages. So that means you can also always play on the regular version of it if you'd like, which is really nice. As we can see here, really nice stage, really fun to play on. And even if it was, you know, just having other stages to look like Battlefield, the way we have the Omega stages um, that look like FD, are really nice, I think. And that's actually going to move us to the next part of this, which are the Delta stages. So I'm going to just play on this a little longer so you can see that there's no hazards. And I'm going to talk a little about the Delta stages. So the Delta stages, or the Delta project, is something that I believe was started by a modder called Van Rose. Um, He's made, certainly, I believe, all the ones that we have here, and the, the intent of the project is basically to do for Battlefield what Omega Stages did for FD, and just to make 
tons of stages be able to be played in this three-platform, you know, tournament viable layout. And it looks really nice when you see it. So, without further ado, let's check that out. So, I don't know if, um, if the modder is planning to do these Delta stages. Also, by the way, Delta is really clever because, um, unless I'm mistaken, uh, mistaken, the Delta symbol is a is a triangle, much like the platform layout of the stage. So, and it's also you know like a Greek character like Omega. So, I think that's really clever. But anyway, um, we have I believe three of them on this pack. The first being um, uh, We Fit Studio. So, if we go right here. And as always, it is in the Omega slot for the stage, so we'd select Wii Fit Studio. And the interesting thing about this is that, uh, besides for just having the three platform layout and they maintain the blast zones, this actually has the platform layout of Miiverse, because you can see there's the platforms are a little wider. Um, but this stage, oh, actually it's the Sonic stage, never mind. The Sonic stage is the one that has, um, it has walls instead of just, you'll see when I get to it. But yeah, this is really nice, and it still has all the, you know, the Wii Fit instructor in the background and, and whatnot. Um, but you can play on it like Battlefield, and it just gives you a little, you know, different aesthetic for every for a change. And I really like that. Um, the intent of this pack is just to be able to get more out of the existing game and of everything that's tournament acceptable already, to just have more variety without changing what makes things work in a competitive environment. So that's really why I like this pack a lot. Um, the second of the Delta stages that we have on here is what I was mentioning before and that would be Green Hill Zone. This I really, uh, I again I believe it's Van Rose is the, is the creator, I really like what he did this, it's just beautiful in my opinion. Um, really really nice looking stage, again three platform layout, uh, Miiverse style because you can see you can, the platforms are a little wider and it has the uh, the walls on the side, so it, it very much replicates what an Omega stage would do uh, in this scenario. And also I believe the grass might even affect traction in the way that certain stages do, but I haven't tested that. But this is also really nice, really fun. And we actually are going to be trying these stages out at the tournament uh, as counter picks, counting as, a, as the same uh, ban as Mi as Miiverse and Battlefield do, uh, all in counter picks. So I really like that idea, and it allows more variety um, just like the Omega stages do. And the last one we have is Suzaku Castle, which again is really beautiful, I really like it. And I'm going to get right to that. Again, we get this by selecting the Omega form of the stage. And here we are. So the interesting thing I notice about this is that it seems like the platforms are actually battlefield length on this as opposed to Miiverse on the other. But regardless, the battlefields are consistent with Battlefield and Miiverse on all of them, and uh, the Blast Zones, I believe is what I said is what I meant. And yeah, it's just a really nice looking stage. It looks exactly as if Nintendo had decided to make, you know, Suzaku and Green Hill Zone and Wii Fit Studio into Battlefield style stages. So it's really nice, and you get all of these on the pack, so I definitely encourage you to download it. Um, some other things, I definitely also want to give a huge shout out to Metal. He's uh, a friend of mine, a Mega Man player from, uh, I believe, Westchester County? I think so. <laughs> yeah, um, and he's uh, he was actually the inspiration for this pack because he hosts his own tournaments called Neo Arcadia. Uh, and he created a mod pack, you know, styled for, the, for his tournaments that he does. So you should definitely check that out. I'll have links for him. Uh, and for his tournament, whatever he asks me to put in the description, and you can check him out as well. But again, uh, this mod pack, I'm really proud of it. Um, everyone here at G5 loves it, and I'm sure you guys will love it too. And definitely download it, definitely play on it, and let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, subscribing to us would be, would be really appreciated. Um, speaking of which, we've just recently uh, exceeded a thousand subscribers, which is really like huge because we've been you know doing this YouTube channel for quite a while and and been kind of trucking along pretty slowly but lately you guys have been really supporting and of course we are also trying to really up the quality of the content for you guys so thank you very much and uh, if you haven't already subscribed if you like what you see here you know it would be really appreciated so thank you very much guys Cosmos out